is president of the Science and Environmental Policy Project and a former director of the U.S. Weather Satellite Service, and that is today's big question. Is global warming causing this world's weather to go haywire? No, I'm afraid uh, that the World Meteorological Organization is again just hyping the uh, global warming issue. Uh, you know, uh, weather is always unusual somewhere in the world, and the longer you observe, the better the chance of finding extreme values. So it's just a matter of statistics. If you have a longer record, you'll find more extreme values. And that's what's happening here. Well, okay, but Dr. Singer, <laughs> forgive us, but we don't believe in coinky-dinky around here. And when you have a month like we had in the spring where, what was it, 300, 400 tornadoes hit Tornado Alley, and, and normally it's in the 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, this, this rain that's been going on in the East Coast, it wasn't all that great of a winter, by the way. Uh, and, then, and then the, uh, you know, the, uh, the areas of the Alps that are normally uh, nice and crisp and cool are burning up in June. Something's happening, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's just my point. The weather is certainly is unusual, but it's always unusual. It'll be more unusual a few years from now. Uh, and the longer we observe, the more unusual weather we'll find. In any case, the most important point is it has really nothing to do with global warming. Well, why because, can you say that? Because uh, we, have, we have data. The best data we have come from weather satellites and weather balloons and they show that the atmosphere is not warming. So uh, whatever is causing but unusual we, weather... But I see, has, these, I see these figures every year or so that talk about uh, uh, you know, these small incremental warmings, half a degree, a degree over a decade or so. That's not true? Not according to the weather satellites. And believe me, I, I, I do have the data. We look at them all the time. Uh, they've shown a minor warming uh, you can hardly measure it. The weather balloons around the world that take daily readings show no warming of the atmosphere in the last 25 years. So uh, the greenhouse effect is not producing uh, a warming and certainly cannot be blamed on uh, the unusual weather. But yeah. besides this, uh, you have the greenhouse theory. The greenhouse theory says that the polar regions will warm more than the equator and therefore you have a reduced temperature difference, and it's the temperature difference between the equator and the pole that drives the weather. So the, if you really get a smaller difference, then you should have less severe weather if you have global warming. That's what the theory tells you. Okay, now, so what does it mean then when we see all this video, we're looking at video now of flooding, we could look at video of mudslides, we could look at video of tornadoes, we could look at video of windstorms and trees down and snow and blizzards yep, and all yep, of that. Yep, all of that's Does happening. it just mean that people are living in places they didn't live before and they're enduring stuff that always happened? Uh, that's partly it. Uh, but there also are some human influences and we don't understand them yet. They have nothing to do with global warming, however. There's, for example, this big brown Asian cloud we've been reading about. And that's real. There's a lot of pollution, ordinary pollution, being created in South Asia. And that is so large, it covers such a large part of the globe, it may have an influence on weather around the globe. Dr. Fred Singer, President of the Science and Environmental Policy Project. Dr. Singer, thanks very much, and I hope you have a you. pleasant weather weekend. Thank you.